You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back, Heath. We've got a lot going on across the BBN right now. Yeah, and here to talk about all of that is Tom Leach, the voice of the Wildcats. Welcome in, Tom. Hey, guys. Hey, let's start with spring football. Kentucky's defense has a lot of returning faces this season, but a big hole to fill is that nose guard with Quentin Bohanna gone. Senior Marquand Bully McCall is <laughs> stepping up as a leader for the D-line. Listen to what he had to say. Uh, I've just been really uh, getting, to, getting to know players, uh, taking care of my body, just doing everything right. You know, I had my fun in the past years, and I just want to just take everything in and do everything right so I can show the younger guys how it's supposed to be when you come in and just, you know, just to start off. Tom Bully is looking leaner, dropped the weight so he can maybe play some more snaps this year. Everything looks good for, for him. I mean, uh, he's one of the, the buzz guys, quote unquote, that uh, is coming out of the, the camp so far. But uh, I did have uh, Brad White, the defensive coordinator on my radio show this morning. And I was the first question I asked him about was uh, Mark Juan. And he said he is doing great, but the challenge has always been consistency. So they're not um, going to let up on continuing to push him to make sure he brings it every day and gives them the effort and everything that they need, leadership, et cetera, every day. And, uh, you know, right now he's meeting that challenge. But, uh, you know, I can just tell from Brad's tone, it's like, it looks good right now, but the, it's looked good before. The challenge is to bring it every day. So far he is, and if he does, uh, they, you know, they may not have any drop off at all from Quentin, which would be amazing. And then hopefully a guy like Justin Rogers uh, fills in to uh, be the backup there. That's awesome. Kentucky football lost one of its own over the weekend with the passing of Howard Schnellenberger. He was 87 years old and All-American in 1955 at Kentucky. And just this year, he received the Bear Bryant Lifetime Achievement Award. Tom, what are some of your memories of Coach Schnellenberger? Yeah, just a legendary football figure. Um, a couple of interesting tidbits about Coach Dellenberger uh, come from roles he had as an assistant coach. He was the offensive coordinator for Don Shula on the only unbeaten NFL team. Hmm. And the defensive coordinator was also from a Kentucky high school. Coach Dellenberger was from Flagge. The defensive coordinator was Bill Arnsparger from Paris. So uh, two guys from Kentucky high school football programs were the coordinators for Don Shula on the only unbeaten NFL team. And then the other thing is uh, Howard was an assistant coach on a legendary staff here at Kentucky. I think it was in 61 or 62 when Blanton Collier was the head coach. And there were many future NFL head coaches that were on that staff. Uh, Shula, uh, Schnellenberger, obviously, uh, was in, in college. Um, uh, great, you know, won a national championship with Miami. Like Lehman Bennett, uh, Chuck Knox, um, a couple of others. and. You, you see all of these guys who obviously knew how to coach football, and yet the team uh, didn't have a, 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 the season you would expect with that kind of coaching, which tells you that it takes more than just coaching. <laughs> Tom, I can't let you go without talking basketball, but we only have a, about 30 seconds left. Jacob Toppin says he's coming back, so we're continuing to see this team formulate to next season's roster. I know my broadcast partner, Mike Pratt, uh, you guys talk to regularly. Next time you have him on, ask him about the uh, top. And he's really high on Jacob, uh, who, of course, his brother Obi was at Dayton and Mike's from Dayton. And, uh, you know, he, he sees some similarities there. And if uh, Jacob can grow his game as his brother did or anywhere close to that, uh, he could have a big jump next season. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tom. Stick around. We'll have a final word after this. All right. You're watching BBN Tonight.